Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and work with a new package, name it Petit View. So first I'm going to open the Chrome browser and search for the Petit View and here we have the GitHub has 5000 stars and you can use just but by adding these scripts and in any div you can add the vscope okay so i'm going to open the terminal i'm going to navigate in the code and I'm going to create a new Laravel app, Laravel new, and I'm going to name it Petit View. Okay, everything ready. CD Petit View, and uh, I'm going to open with the VS Code. Okay, and uh, in the resources views, we have a welcome. I'm going to remove all the div we have, go to the web and uh, copy this one. And first I'm going to add this here. And in the body, add the div, this scope count, and here we display the count, but we are in the Laravel, so we need to add the at before, call the braces, and button, on click, we add count plus plus. Okay, save this and open the Edit view dot test, and here we have the increment. Sorry, right, flex here. Marks with Excel and makes auto. I think we need to add this in uh, here with class oh yeah we don't I don't have a tile in CSS so navigate in the tile in CSS and uh, get started installation using CDN copy this and paste it here it's save refresh and now yeah we have this and uh, the button 
with class of uh, text yellow seven hundred and BG yellow one hundred okay yeah also I'm going to say padding two and margin two yeah now click okay cool another thing you can do is use the module so script type module and import create app from the module and create app mount is like the same we did with uh, Vue.js we install the view we import the create app and create app and mount and we have the idea okay so I think we can do the same thing with ID so if I copy uh, this one and uh, come here remove the petit view petit view sorry and add this and I'm going to mount in the ID with with ID of uh, app I'm going to say and here I'm going to say ID app save and come here and refresh and we have the same thing but if I remove the ID app and hit save refresh yeah nothing happened and it's not working okay if I add a div before here with ID up and uh, refresh yeah now it's working because we had the parent div we added the id okay another one is we can use the getters and methods so i'm going to copy this one here now go back remove this and paste another one we have get plus one and okay uh, here I'm going to add that one I'm going to add the class max with Excel and MX Auto, hit save, come here and refresh. Ah, yeah, we need to add the add symbol before here because we are in the Laravel blade, and here we have the Vue.js properties okay refresh we have the increment button one and two this is plus one which is one if i increment now we have the count which is one plus one is two increment and it's going to increment okay you can do the same thing with you do with you 
with your Vue.js. So yeah, create app mountain only on this div. You can specify a mount target to limit petit view to only the region of the page. Okay. You can have multiple, so create up mount app1 and app2. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have a mounted and V if and unmounted. So you have here global state management. Uh, you can use the reactive method. Reactive. So import create up and reactive from petit.view and we can add a constant store, which is going to be reactive. Is the view compatible with uh, text bindings, v bind, v on, v model, v if, v else, v for, not supported, ref and computed, render functions, reactivity for collections type, map set, remove it for smaller size, v for deep destructor, a v on object and so on. You can use it if you want to use view, for example, for a drop down or to have some reactivity, but you don't want to, to create a view component inside the project. Yes, okay, you can add that directly to your. HTML page. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one, friends.